Hello everyone, welcome to part 5 of the list tutorial series for Xamarin Forms. So um, right now we have um, our, pro our finished product, what we're going to have at the end of this video. Um, we have this up and running, so we hit this button, add item, and we can see we are now adding items to our list. Alright, so now let's get to it. So first thing we got to do is in order to get this right here, this is called a, um, a toolbar. So in order to get a toolbar, we have to turn our pages into navigation pages. And the way we do that is we go to the app.saml.cs. And what we, we find in the constructor, we have main page equals new main page. So we got to actually turn that into a navigation page. So it's going to be new navigation page, and then inside of the navigation page, we're going to have new main page. All right, so now we just wrapped main page into navigation page, and we have, um, now we can actually start messing around with the toolbar. So let's, uh, now that we have that, let's go into the view model, and we still have what we had before. Um, let's go ahead now. And we're actually going to comment this out because we're going to be adding these with the button instead of it just already showing up. So what we got to do is we have to actually make a command. What are called, they're called commands, and this is how our button's going to interact with our view model. So we're going to do public i command. You probably don't have it um, from the get go, so hit uh, alt enter or um, option enter if you're on Mac. So we're going to do, excuse me, um, command, we're going to do add item command. All right. Now we're going to, it's a property, so we're going to throw in the get and set as well. And then we're going to, we're going to have this command do something. So let's make a function. So we're just going to have this return void. Um, and now we're going to, whenever we hit this function, we want it to add items. So we're going to call this add items. All right. Now in here, we are literally just going to take one of these and we're just going to throw this guy in there. All right. Now we can do just to, to uh, help us know which item is being added. We're actually going to um, make the name change or have a number every time we hit uh, the toolbar button. So we're going to do name number. All right, and we're actually going to use string. Um, excuse me. We're going to use um, string interpolation. So what that is is we're going to include the variable in the string literal. So let's. Uh, to create our counter public uh, integer and we're just going to do count and we're going to initialize it at zero so but every time it's called we want count to increment all right so for string interpolation we're going to do a dollar sign here and then we're going to do brackets right here and we're just going to throw count in right there all right now we can take this guy out and we can add our command Add item command. All right, cool. So this is going to equal a new command. Now this is different. You have to uh, include this. You have to include the using Xamarin forms as well. So for i command, we have to use system.windows.input, and then for command, we have to use Xamarin.forms. So in the parameters, um, there's there's a lot of different things you can do here, but since we're just returning void and this isn't an asynchronous met method, then uh, we can just go ahead and throw add items in there just like that. All right, awesome. So whenever we have this command, get hit, we're going to have um, this method get called. So we can, uh, we'll set, go ahead and set a breakpoint as well so we see it actually work in action. So, but before we do that, we gotta make our toolbar. So we're going to go up here between your stack layout and your content page. Let's bring this down just so we can see. There you go. So it's going to be right here between 
um, like it's going to be right after your content page. So in here we're going to do content page dot toolbar items. All right. And then in toolbar items, we're actually going to throw on a toolbar item. We can get into this a little bit more in detail later, but for right now, we're just trying to uh, do something super simple. Um, we're just going to have the text of this toolbar item equal add item. All right. And then we're going to throw the command. Ooh. The command. And then, of course, we're going to bind it to our add items command. All right, does that make sense? So we got our command right here, and um, we are bound to this add items command. So whenever I hit add item, they call it, it hits the command, and then in the view model, it will hit this right here. And when this command gets hit, this method will be called, and then this will go. So let's go ahead and set a breakpoint here, and we'll set a breakpoint here as well. All right, and uh, before we um, get before we uh, run it, let's go back into our uh, main page .xaml, and we have add items command, which should be add item command. All right, now in our view model, let's go ahead and let's just set the breakpoint right here. So now we have add items getting ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and start it. And then we're actually going to see it hit every time we press add item. And then we can actually see it walk through every time. So we hit add item, boom, there it is. See, we have our add item command. Since it's bound, this is the first thing it does right when it's even touched, add items. So now we're going through, we have our counter now, which count equals zero, but if we step forward, let's go back. Aha, count equals one. So this is going to appear one, and now it's just gonna be name number one. So let's go ahead and play it all the way through, and we have name number one. All right, and of course, if we take the breakpoint off and we just start hitting it, we can start seeing them add on. All right, so that's how we make our list view a bit more interactive, and we can actually wire up a button with a command and start adding things into our list view. So right there, this is the uh, this is essentially the main portion of, uh, of the tutorials. If you understand how this works, then you will be in a really good shape because adding to a list view um, putting data onto a list view um, is very essential, and this is how you do it in a nutshell. So it just depends on where you do it and in what way you do it. So um, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. We're going to be talking more about the list view itself, the layout, and how we can customize it so we can really start making our list views look really good. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial and thanks a lot.